Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away. We're now going to be doing the next four stages, stages 87 to 90 of the Fan Home release and build the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger. So here's a funny dilemma for you. Uh, basically, we're going to be doing some more of the doors. We're going to be doing the other door, we're going to finish this door off and put the window in it. Then we're going to be attaching them to the car. Now, as you can probably see around me, there's no car here, and that's because the car is in the house. Now, I could bring the car out here and just fit them very quickly, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to actually film it when I, uh, after everything I do here at the end of the video. The reason for that is that not only is it raining outside, there's a terrible thunderstorm. So uh, if the power cuts or you hear rumbling, that's what it's all about. Um, I don't know what's going on this morning, but it looks like a complete monsoon out there at the moment. So I have put noise cancellation on as well. Hopefully that's OK. But a uh, bit of drama in the workshop. So uh, if you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link down here to the Fan Home website. You can get this all the way from pack one. But without further ado, let's get cracking. <laughs> Okay, so not sure exactly how we're going to do this, but uh, we'll just wing it. That's what I normally do on this channel. Uh, as you can see, we've got the uh, the left door window that we're going to start putting in. So we've got all the mechanics for that, which means the window does go up and down. So by the end of it, it looks just like that. We don't need the car for this one. So this is a standalone uh, part right now. I am going to put my part work upgrades map down because um, I am going to be working on the door. And a few little parts to take out first. And the first thing we're going to do is actually make the knob. So I need to attach the knob. <laughs> That's exactly what the instructions say. Attach the knob. So I need a GP screw. And I'm just trying to find that. I'm guessing GP screws are going to be very tiny, which they are. So I've got my little tiny screwdriver to help me with that. And I have zoomed up the camera as well. And basically, the knob is going to be going on to this side of the handle we're actually making a handle you see so hopefully this will work i'll load up the tiny tiny screwdriver like that i'll put that through the side it's meant to be at and then hold that with my finger and then i think i'll offer the knob to that screw and screw it in like that that's the easiest way to get that on straight and then just tighten it up there you go, that's what it looks like. We've now got a handle with the knob on the end. Bring over the door, and it's this side that I'm after that looks like that. I'm going to be putting the knob through this hole just here. And as you can see, I've got a D-shaped pattern to put a cog on. I'm going to get me uh, tweezers for this. Little gear going on here. Now it is shaped just like that one there, so put that on so it sits perfectly like that. Okay, a couple more gears to put on. We've got this one here, which is going into that section just there. And then on top of it, we've got this one here, face down, linking both of those together like that. Now we want to enclose that into place. So we have got this shield here, which is going to go over the whole thing. We've got a few screws going in here. So the first one I'm going to do is the VM flange screw here. That's going to hold the window winding mechanism into place just put that in gently at the moment i'll uh, make that permanent once i put the ap screws in just finding them and get them open the ap screws are basically going in every other hole that we can see on here and that will also keep the gears in place so one at the top now i can let that go Put in the middle here. And then just two at the bottom. And now we want to check this works. So when that goes up, as you can see, it's making that rise and fall. Perfect. Now I've got some little clear strips here, which are pretty difficult to get off of here actually, but uh, I'm going to get one off. And we're going to be putting that clear strip just along the inside here. The reason we're doing that is when the window goes up and down, we don't want it scratching against this plastic. So we put this little clear strip in here to stop that happening. I'm going to take another one off. And in the same place where the window is going to touch, I'm going to put a strip along this one here as well. We shouldn't get any 
problems with scratching then. So get the window out and we want to align the tabs. So this sits in perfectly and it goes over that section just like that there. And I'm going to use a BP screw, not too tight, just to put the glass in that door. That will stop the window falling out. Perhaps a little bit tighter. There you go. Perfect. Make sure it's sitting flat in there. Then it's just a case of putting this section here on top of this section here. Turn it over, make sure it's all in place. That's looking good. Now while I hold it together, I just want to make sure that, that window goes up and down like that. That's perfect. Okay, a few screws to put this one in there. So I've got some AM screws first. And they're going to go on this side just over here. So one there. I'm going to put another one in just down here. Now these are going into metal so I am dropping these in a little bit of oil. One this side, that's two. We've got two at the base here. A lot of detail just for one door. <laughs> we got one just down this bottom section here. That one's number five. And then finally, just one up here, number six. The last screw we want is a TP screw, which is a silver screw. A tiny, tiny, tiny one, this one. So I need my tiny, tiny screwdriver. Why do I keep saying tiny twice? Looking like that. That's just going to pin this frame together at the top here. Just like that, that should close it up. And that is one completed door. Do need to get my <sighs> grubby fingerprints off of it <laughs> but that's completed that's all there is to do in that stage so in stage 88 they're going to want us to take the next part of the door here but they want me to fit the door we just completed onto the car we're going to do that at the end so don't panic we're going to jump now straight to this section here so we can just start doing the new door. Now, just so you know, when we come to fitting this door onto the car, it's gonna be fitted with two SM screws, which came in the last pack. So I'm gonna keep those two together, which means all we're gonna do on this one is take the handle. The handle is just gonna go into this point here and it's held in from the other side with an AP screw. Got that ready. Turn it over and get that in. There you go, that's all the way in. And then all I've got to do is take the little door barrel. Again, this is shaped, so I need to put this in the right way. Little D-shaped pattern there. It'll hold its own, but that is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 89 here, we're going to be doing a little bit more on that door putting the interior in just like we did for the last one. Uh, and then they do want me to put this section into the car as well. So when I go into the house, I will add this section in afterwards as well. So to that end, we're gonna take the door we've just been working on here. And we have got an interior to put on, which looks just like this. This is just gonna go over the two holes that we've got here and here. Let's get these into place. And I'm gonna hold that in with AM screws takes four screws I'm just putting them in gently with my small screwdriver here and then I'm going to tighten them up with my large one that's all in place put that to one side we're now going to be working on the top hinge do want to make sure this is round the right way so that these parts here are facing behind me let's see if that oil helps it's a little bit tricky there we go it's helped it we're in that's the hinging. And now I'm just going to put a TM screw 
just through the top. These are quite a long screw. Make sure we are lined up there. So this is the top hinge. It's gonna go just into that point, just there. And that's held in with AM screws. Again, I'll put these in loose and a little bit of oil just to help drive these screws in. And you do wanna make sure these are in tight. If they're not in tight, your door's gonna wobble, which you don't want. That's in perfectly there. And in a similar way, we're just gonna be doing the bottom screw. So this time, have these facing upwards to me. And this one's just gonna go in in this direction here with a UM screw, slightly longer one this one, just going through the top here. So it looks just like that. And then once again, this is actually gonna go just onto these points just there. And that's held in again with AM screws. Cannot believe that we're uh, almost at the end of this build. Not many more to go now. I do think we still need a lot to do with the electrics. We haven't really tackled that yet. But the advantage of doing the electrics at the end is that if they don't work, there's less to sort of unravel and unwind to get to them. But there you go, that's both of the hinges in place. Now, the only other thing to do, as I said, is to put this into the side of the car. And for that, I'm gonna need some AM screws. So the first door goes in with SM screws on the hinges. And this plate here is going on with AM hinges. And I'll do that in the uh, part after the, all these stages are complete in the house. It's getting very confusing. I, I am aware of that. Okay, so issue 90, the last uh, stage for this pack. As you can see, we've got the interior door here. And all we're going to be doing is making the door bolt putting that into position and then just putting a little catch over that to stop that coming out so what we're going to do is we're just going to take this little spring that's going onto the smaller section there put this catch in the door so let me just show you how we cut that in if the catch goes in this way round, it slides sort of along that edge the best on the top camera just like that and then we just want to put this pin inside here probably best so have some tweezers to help you do this. There we go, it's in now. Perfect. And all we've got to do is we want to hold that in so we have got a little catch here to just go over the top. Get that into position here. Just like that. And that's held in with these AP screws. There's no danger of that falling out now. And this one's too. So the lock mechanism's in the door, as you can see there, and it is spring loaded like that. And that's all there is to do in this stage. That's all there is to do in this pack. So now we're gonna go into the house, fit the door, and just fit this plate here. Here's a blast on the pass that you haven't seen for a while. Here's my uh, Terminator there. But I've put the uh, case, <laughs> just down here and it's the door that we're just going to affix. So quite simply, all we're gonna do is just take the door, put it over this section just like that, line it up, put some SM screws in those two holes. So as you can see, the door's on, the screws are in, and now that door can open and close. One more thing to do, and that is just by spinning this around here, I'm going to be putting the plate that we just had into that section there. This is what that plate looks like. Just going to go in there and that's just held in with some of that AM screws. And there you go, that's three AM screws in place. Let's put this back over the main body of the car. Now at the moment, that's looking just like that. I haven't seen this for a while, have we? And I'll show you what that looks like. And there you go. That's what that looks like. Let's uh, open this door again. As you can see. And that's what it's looking like inside. And that's all there is to do in this stage. That's all there is to do in this pack. 
So there you go. That's another four stages of the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger completed for another month. Now, if you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link down here in the video description. You can get this all the way from pack one. But I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.